hello everyone welcome back to my channel on this tutorial i'm gonna show you how you can create this amazing animation using qr code control net i decided to do this video since one of the most viewed video of my channel is the animate diff as the excel however it is quite difficult for me to create this type of video since it needs high vram and i only have a 6 gigabyte of vram on my rtx 3060 However, today I'm going to show you a very cool technique to create amazing animation at high resolution using low VRAM. This method can be done using a series of upscalers and key samplers. And without further ado, let's dive into a tutorial. So let me explain you more about this workflow. Here we have our checkpoint loader. We're going to use the SD1.5 model. We have our VAE here. And we're going to use two LoRa model. The first model is the Hyper SD 8 steps LoRa, which allows us to create a good image at 8 steps. The second LoRa loader is the SD 1.5 adapter, which is gonna help us for the animation consistency. Then, here we have our empty latent image. I'm gonna use a 512 resolution by 512 since we are using the SD 1.5 model. On the clip text, you can type in here and add some additional text but it is not necessary and here we have our seed notes you can change it from fixed to randomize but i suggest you to keep it as it is also if you want to create vertical animation you can use this empty latent image resolution instead of this one then the notes gonna upscale it based on the first resolution that you select after that we have the animated groups which are composed of the same old notes however we have a main difference here we have introduced the motion scale notes that allows us to create a good transition and consistency after that we have the ip adapter which is gonna play a major role on this type of animation since it's gonna create a mask based on these notes and you can clearly see here the mask that we created then take into consideration the images that we're gonna inject into this IP adapter. Here I selected these four type of animals, but you can choose any type of image that you want. It's gonna depend on your taste. I selected a weight of one one and the weight type of standard. You can do the same for the others. The next group is the QR code control net, which is gonna allow us which is gonna allow us to create a good transition. Here we have our QR code model. And we have our string, which I suggest you to play with it until you obtain something that you are satisfied with. So you can use this motion link that I, that I injected here. And once you open up the link, you can check that we have different animation. Here we have the circular. Here we have another type. So just download this type of video. After that, just paste the location of this video on the load video notes. What is what control net is gonna do is taken into consideration this animation that we injected here, then do a transition between the images with this type of animation, and this transition is gonna be dependent on the strength of the control net. You can increase or decrease the value to obtain different results. Okay, then we will have our key sampler, which is gonna create the first animation, and I strongly suggest you to turn on the other models by just selecting notes and click Control and b to bypass the notes this way you can quickly create your animation by pl and playing with the strength of the control net and other parameters that i will show you obtain the desired results once it is done you can just click Control b to enable them again and proceed further with the upscaling process okay before i show you the results of this control net let's first dive into the installation process so to use this workflow, you will need to install the animative, the control net, and also the IP adapter. If you want to install the animative and IP adapter, I strongly suggest you to watch my other videos. And you can do the same for the control net. However, there is another method, which you can click on the manager, install the missing custom nodes, and Comfy UI is gonna automatically install everything. Then just restart your Comfy UI, and you will see all those nodes appear here. Good. Another step to make this to use this workflow is to download all the necessary file for it. 
so i posted all the necessary link for these files you have here the lora models that you can download using those links then go to comfy ui root folder enter models go to lora and paste the models here you will also need to install the v3 sd 1.5 motion model and place it on animate diff for, for the motion model of animate diff just download this link just use this link to download the model then go to custom nodes enter and search for animate diff evolved after that go to models and paste your models here once it is done do the same thing for the key on it just use this link again download the models then go to comfy ui root folder enter models search for control net and paste the clear control net model here okay i think we have all the necessary file now let's go test out this workflow okay, now that we have everything we need i will show you the main key parameters to obtain different results first we're gonna start by the motion scale of the animate diff i did many tests on that video you can see that a lower value gives us faster transition however when we increase uh, the float value we can see that we have more smooth and slow transition and i obtained the best result when i used a value between 1.4 and 1.6 okay next we're gonna jump into the qr code strength and we can also say the same thing about the strength of the qr code at lower value we have faster transitions however when we increase the value we have more stronger transition and we can clearly see the motion animation of our video that i downloaded here i used the square animation for this video and when we increase the value we can clearly observe some square edges on the video good and the other key parameters is the lora model strength i also did a series of tests and we can observe that we have a good animation at high lora value between 0 0.8 and 1.2 and all of this is gonna depend on your taste you can also change the checkpoint model to obtain different results for those videos i use the checker not sd 1.5 but you can use other models all right the next key parameter for this type of animation is the upscale image by here you can see that i use a low upscale factor that is 1.25 and i repeated the process again however you can increase this value to get more impressive results i did this value because my pc could not handle higher values since i only have 6 GB of vram for the key sampler here i got a better result with order and normal as scheduler the first key sampler has a denoise value of 1 but the other key samplers has lower denoise value since it is only used for the upscaling purposes i used Two other key samplers for upscaling purposes and both key samplers has different sampler name and scheduler but you can also experiment with those parameters for the denoise value i strongly suggest you to use a value between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5 and here you can see the results which has more pixels and the animation is more impressive however I wanted my animation to last longer so i did some frame interpolation using this wife vfe nodes here we have our multiplier that allows us to multiply the duration of the video then i obtain it this final results over here you can clearly see that it takes longer compared to this one and the rife nodes clearly succeeded to increase the duration once you are satisfied with the results you can rather choose to upscale using other software like Topaz AI, which I personally suggested since it can give you more better results for the upscaling. Or you can use the same workflow and increase uh, and repeat the process again until you obtain the desired resolution. To do that, just disable all the nodes here by selecting set group to never. Do the same for the QR code and the animative okay let's leave those one as it is since we need the, the checkpoint loader and the vae to decode our 
information also disable the first key sampler and this via ed code then just add a load video notes upload your animation here and plug the image into the image that way you will be able to upscale your video as many times as you want until you get the satisfied resolution okay for my case i use a topaz ai upscaling process which which is also very simple you just need to add your video here here you can see that i obtained this resolution with comfy y then for the ai model i selected the denoise artemis sharpen and then you just have to click export and here we have our upscaled version with the pause AI. you can clearly see that the image is more sharpened and we have more denoised image as we zoom in we have more details here so i also suggest you to use the topaz ai if you can otherwise you can stick to the comfy y method that i show you it also gave better results but it will take more time so that's it for today's video if you like this video please push the like button for me watch my other video tutorial about comfy ui and thank you